Hey guys, I'm Dr. Aaron Horshig, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you what a TENS device is, how they work, and whether or not you should purchase one. Get up and get down, get up and get down. So first, the word TENS or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation is a way to deliver an electrical pulse to the body through electrodes to help you enhance recovery, decrease swelling, and or eliminate pain. First, I've got a few different units with me available today. So we have the Mark Pro. This is the one I have hooked up on this side. I've got the Power Dot hooked up on this side. I also have two other devices down here. This is the Flex Tens. This is a device that I commonly will use in clinic because a number of uh, insurance companies actually will support this one. So this is one that I give a lot of my patients. And then also we have the Compex unit. So these are some of the most common TENS units that you will find on the market today. The first thing you have to understand when looking at a TENS machine is the type of stimulation it's delivering to the body. There are two common forms of TENS settings that drastically differ in what they do to the body. There's low rate TENS and high rate TENS. The Mark Pro is currently doing low rate and the Power Dot is currently doing high rate for myself. Conventional TENS or high rate TENS delivers a pins and needle type sensation to an area without any muscle contraction in order to decrease pain. They send an electrical signal into the body that interferes with pain transmission at the spinal cord level and masks your pain while it's on, something known as gate control theory. It's basically a short-term method to mask your pain. You can use it as long as you want, but when the unit is turned off, the pain control usually goes away. That is what most of the cheaper units that you'll see at Walmart, Walgreens, or CVS do that cost as little as $30. Now, these other units I have here today also have this ability as well, but can stimulate the muscle to jump a little, something called low rate tens. This is the type of action that I think has the most upside for you guys, as it is designed to optimize recovery from training and injury. If we look deep within your body, there are two networks of vessels that you should know about. Your veins and arteries shuttle blood and healing cells like macrophages around the body in the lymphatic system is how swelling and damaged cells are removed from very fatigued and injured areas. While the circulatory system runs off your heart, the lymphatic system only works with movement, and that's where the low-rate TENS device comes in. This setting will mimic the muscle pump of active movement without you needing to try to contract your muscles yourself. This electrical pulse creates non-fatiguing rhythmic contractions that can do four things. It can enhance removal of cellular damage that accumulates after heavy training in the gym. It can pull out swelling from around an injured area. It can increase blood flow to stimulate the recovery and repair process. And for some people, it can also create pain relief as well because the stimulation leads to the release of endorphins within your brain. Here's two situations that you'd wanna use this. For the first, let's say you just got done with an intense squat day and you wanna optimize recovery as much as possible. If you're at home watching TV, throw on the TENS unit for 30 to 60 minutes, turning up the intensity to something that's strong but still tolerable. You're going to pull waste away that accumulates from intense training and bring blood flow and nourishment to the area to kickstart recovery. Remember, recovery is an essential part of the adaption and progression process of training. Second, let's say you hurt your knee or sprained your ankle. You can use this device to pull out swelling and stimulate recovery rather than halt the process and delay recovery with ice. It may surprise some of you that in 2013, Dr. Gabe Merkin, the man who invented the RICE protocol, Rest, Ice, Compress, Elevate, came out and withdrew his original statement saying, subsequent research shows that ice can actually delay recovery. So this type of device allows us to optimize recovery, not slow it down. Remember, movement is medicine. Here's a real life example for you guys. In early 2021, Nick Best tore his left lat during a world record deadlift attempt. Now that's that big V-shaped muscle on your back. It was quickly repaired surgically, and in the process of recovery, I recommended Nick use a Mark Pro to optimize the healing process in conjunction with his rehab exercises. He'll tell you this device was imperative in helping him recover and return to lifting. Now this, this is recovery. This is why almost all the athletes I work with skip ice after training, small injuries, and even surgeries, and opt to use a TENS device to promote more optimal healing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on TENS devices and learned a thing or two about the differences. Remember, if the device you have doesn't create a muscle pump, when you have it turned on, it's just that pins and needle sensation, it's only high rate, and there's only temporarily masking of the pain sensation that you have. If you want to truly enhance and optimize recovery, get yourself a device that stimulates that non-fatiguing muscle contraction called low rate tens. So that's my video for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you have any questions, 
Let me know in the comment section below, or if there's anything that you'd like me to go over in future videos, just let me know as well. And remember, we have the Mark Pro, we have the PowerDot, and again, the PowerDot, even though I'm using in the high rate version today, it also does do low rate. We have the Compex, and then we have the Flex Tint. So there's a bunch of different options for you guys today. Hope you can find one that works best for you. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos, these people have lost.